Hey, welcome back to another tutorial. This time we're going to go over the character parenter component. The character parenter is a super useful component that is used in a lot of ships, vehicles, and other sort of uh, transit systems, elevators, etc. Escalators, you could probably do an escalator. If someone wants to build an escalator, I would love to see it. Um, so what it does is when you uh, stand on something or collide with something, it will parent you to an object. And so I'm going to show you how it's set up and do keep in mind what we're using it for because I'm not going to show you how to build a whole ship. We're just going to do like the the deck of the ship. Uh, let's get started. Let's hop over to Smooth POV and I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, box. This will represent the deck of our ship. I'm going to to fly mode here so that I can uh, restructure the box. So I can grab the middle point here, drag it down, and then we can drag out the sides a little bit. And there we go. We've got a platform. Super basic, I know, but uh, this is a tutorial, not an art piece. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this box and lower it down into the ground. And I'm going to go ahead and inspect it by secondary selecting it with my dev tooltip and then hitting open inspector. Now here you'll see the common components for a box. If you're unfamiliar with these, there's a tutorial in the video description that I have linked called Building a Box from Scratch. So take a look at that one. It's super helpful to learn how um, primitives in Neos work. We're going to go ahead and attach another component to this cube. So we're going to go to attach component, locomotion, interaction, character parenter. And then with character parenter on, we're actually uh, done uh, with the basic character parenter setup. There's a lot more that you can do here, but I'm going to skip over it because I want to keep things simple. And from my experience, I don't end up using some of the other more advanced things, but they are there if you need them. For example, there are filters which can control um, uh, how uh, how you en must enter the uh, character parenter for it to work, like direction filters, angle filters, etc. I haven't actually used them, so I won't comment on them. Um, there's also the option to override the um, the thing that you get parented to. So in this case, it's set to local space box, which means it will parent me to the box when it activates. Must be on ground means that I must be on ground um, whilst the collision event happens for it to trigger. Um, that's useful for things like when people are falling or uh, on other vehicles, etc. Like, you know, it must be on ground means that you're already on the ground and then you can transit into this character parenter. Uh, that's actually the character parents are set up. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and step onto the box now. And you'll actually see that nothing happens. Uh, actually, I'm in fly mode, so I'll land. And you'll see that nothing happens. And the reason why I've done this is because it's a common thing which I forget when dealing with character parenters, which is they require a trigger collider. Now, I haven't done a tutorial on colliders yet. Maybe one will come later down the line. Um, but for now, we're just going to add a trigger collider using a quick hack I do with boxes. So all I'm going to do here is scroll up to the static collider here. And I'm going to set that to a character collider. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it and set it to a trigger type. So you see here, type trigger. Now, because I've duplicated it, it will already be the correct size. And with that, we now are done with our simple setup. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump onto the box. Oh, I missed. There we go. And you'll see that we're now parented to this box. So wherever this box moves, I would move relative to it. So again, think ships, boats, uh, planes, trains, automobiles, elevators, um, escalators, whatever you want. And uh, there you go. That's about the rest to it. Um, do you remember that you need that trigger collider? I really do forget it every time I use the character parenter, so uh, uh, yeah, make sure you add it. If you've got any more questions about, oh, let me get rid of that bounding box that's going crazy. If you've got any more questions about the character parenter um, component, do let me know. I'd be happy to help you out uh, with some more information or even another video. Uh, thank you. I'll see you next time.